Welcome to our Easter app hunt with Microsoft Teams. Over the last 12 months, we've seen Teams use Microsoft Teams to stay connected to the people they need to work with on a day-to-day -day basis. However, during this time of working from home, it's not been as easy to keep up those important social interactions with people beyond our own area of work. So how do we build our network while we're working remotely? Well, one simple way is by bringing those outer loop interactions into your Microsoft Teams via my Easter app, app of choice, Yammer Communities. Let's go over to Teams and check out the experience. So here I am in my Microsoft Teams. In order to add Yammer Communities, just go to the left-hand rail and select the More Apps option. If it's not available in my Recents, I just can search for Communities. Once selected, click Add. Yammer will now be added to all my Teams apps, including mobile, so I can engage with leaders. I can ask questions. I can get answers. I can meet new people. I can even check out what my colleagues' pets are up to. If you want to have quick access later on, remember to pin the app to the left-hand rail by right-clicking on it. And you can access your notifications from both Teams and Yammer via the Activities feed. So that's Yammer Communities and Teams. In my honest opinion, one of the biggest benefits of Communities and Teams is that it alleviates the which tool when Yammer versus Teams conundrum. Now it's just all about having conversations with different groups, be it Communities or Teams. So that's my Easter app update. Stay tuned to hear from my amazing colleagues as they showcase their favorite apps for Teams. In case you missed the earlier apps, check out the link on screen to view all our Easter app updates. And thanks for watching.